It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking to y'all, talking about we, we so obsessed with celebrity. I didn't take it serious till I saw one person worried. Huh. And that's why that person is positively brilliant. I was I, I saw Donald Trump talking about it and I was like oh, okay he said it's a hoax but I said if he said it's a hoax it's probably a lie I saw all those people die in China I saw quarantine uh, Italy get quarantined Tom yeah. Hanks got it but nothing hit me until I heard Cardi B get worried when Cardi <laughs> B said when Cardi B got on Instagram and she was worried yeah. that's when I was worried and that little rant that she did turned into this motherfucking song that I got to put in Positively Brilliant because this shit charted on Apple. <laughs> Something crazy. that both of y'all can both appreciate because y'all in the motherfucking, y'all are executives. All right. Let me hear, let me hear the Cardi B coronavirus record, please. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. It's Cardi's voice. Cardi can make anything a hit. Yo, she's she can make here. anything a motherfucking hit, man. The problem... I think that you will have with Cardi is when you try to structure her. Yeah, you can't. Mm. You got to get that. That's that, that's that natural organic energy. You almost got to let her just go in the booth and freestyle and see what you get out of it, yo. I don't yeah. know about that, but... Um, <laughs> 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 but, but no, I like, it's just we live in crazy times, man. Okay. We live in crazy times. It's like, while this is so serious and we're, like, we, in the same breath that we're having about how we're taking it serious and mm -hmm. all that, here's a song made out of a clip of her talking about it and everybody's celebrating the fact that the shit is number 10 but people is dying behind yeah. it. But the messaging of the song is the truth. I mean, the Coronavirus, <laughs> this shit is real. No, this shit, <laughs> this shit is real. This shit is real. Think about it. You just said people in the hood not taking it serious. Niggas is not going to take it serious. Niggas not taking it serious. They're going to make a dance to this. It's going to be a mixtape after this from somebody. You, like. you know why they're taking it serious now? Because that message is clear and to the point. <laughs> coronavirus shit is real. Kevin Durant got it. Yeah. Idris Elba oh, guy. KD, Idris Elba. Yeah. Motherfuckers that people actually fuck with. Now you just now what you need is a real hood nigga. I'ma tell you, you know it's been a fucking real me up. Hood though, nigga to get it. The past week, my mind been playing tricks on me this whole last week. So the most normal shit, like right now it's like allergy season. Man, I tell fucking me about sneeze. It. I cough. I'm in a car by myself and I'm like, my I'm like, damn. <laughs> Cause like I was working out the day before. So naturally my body is hurting. Yeah, but then yeah. I'm sitting here, I cough and I'm like, Damn. <laughs> Listen, I've held in 10 coughs since I've been in here just because I don't want to scare y'all. A, a cough is like brandishing a gun nowadays. <laughs> a sneeze is a gunshot. Man, Niggas duck when a sneeze comes Niggas out. Niggas with the sneeze. I was in the grocery store yesterday getting some water, take it to my mom's, and we're in the aisle. It's like a couple is me and like seven, eight white people yeah. and a white lady sneeze. <laughs> everybody everybody, everybody. Hit the fucking deck. No, they wanted to fight. They looked at her like, yo, bitch, nah, bitch man. kill you with him. That ain't cool, though, man, because like, I mean, like, like Wayne don't say, I got allergies. I got Zyrtex in the bag, yeah. you know what I mean? And I got reoccurring bronchitis. So when oh, my allergies start fucking up, take my your bronchitis medicine is... before you leave the house. God, man. <laughs> take everything you need. Yeah, it's like you can't win with this shit. And man. I'm sitting there with gloves on. It might, be too, it might be too late. You was talking about Cardi earlier, though. You said, um, what'd you say? You said that, what'd you say? You were talking about other, the other women that's on the, on on her heels, kind of. No, I, I I was saying that uh she gotta you know she do gotta put some aside from everything that's going on she def, I definitely want to see her put some new music out. And shit. Does she need to put music out? I mean, listen, it, Andre three thousand said you can't afford to not record, so it's like that's a different it, time though. It, it, it's, it's a different time, but I, I don't think she needs to. But man, we we don't want our favorite artist to drop music anymore. Here, like here's the I, thing. I was two years ago. Cardi B mm -hmm. was my favorite person. Before mm -hmm. she was my favorite artist. Mm. Okay. And to me, that's the brilliance of Cardi B. That's that's why I got her in the positively brilliant second. She was one of my she was one of my favorite people yeah. before she was my favorite artist. So I, I years ago, mm -hmm. I would say Cardi B is gonna be a star. I didn't know what she was gonna be a star at. Right. I just knew she had that star quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just so happened she decided to give us music. But Cardi can do anything. She can give us an album. I mean, she can give us a movie. We probably love it. She can give us a TV show. We probably love it. She does Instagram rants now, just like she used to do back in the day. Yeah. The only difference is now her voice so big, they fucking chart. Yo, I seen her do something the other day. I forgot what it was she posted. She had a million views on Instagram and it was 15 minutes. Or 10, it was, no, it was like eight minutes. She was a superstar. It was a million views. Yeah, it was insane. She was a superstar before she was a superstar, though, is what yeah. I'm saying. So so I don't even know if she needs music when she can do stuff like this. She, going, she about to chart with this shit. I mean... <laughs> 
What's but it's hey hey who produced it? I I am Marquis. <laughs> this is a hit. Hey hey hey. Hey, don't fuck. Hey, you fuck around the CDC is gonna license this shit, <laughs> and this is gonna be PSAs all on TV, all on the radio with this song playing. That's how Donald Trump win the next election. He gonna walk out to this shit, right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, he's a cold motherfucker. <laughs> maybe if if Donald Trump came on TV today because he's doing another uh, uh, press press conference today, mm -hmm. if he gets on there today and says, "Look, Cardi B said this shit is getting real." And you, so you know shit is getting real. You think he, he gets the black vote instantly from that? Instantly. He'll get that. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get that. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he, get, he give niggas a thousand dollars and play some Cardi B? That. A thousand dollars and play Cardi B? That. Be, yeah. He's that, that people start saying that. my president, but yeah. that just goes to show you how impressionable. Like, children aren't the only people that are, like, uh, easily impressionable.